Hey guys, it's Tana and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to use this beautiful Mod Flower Red Rubber Stamp from Simon Says Stamp and we're going to do a little bit of watercoloring with some Catherine Fuller inks. So this stamp was in the very first kit that I ever bought. And I'm not talking like I told you guys I remember what my very first Hero Arts kit was. This was my very first kit ever. It happened to be an Easter kit from Simon Says Stamp, which would be almost three years ago now. Right when I began to make cards instead of doing tags. And I don't know if I ever told you guys, but real quick, let me tell you what's going on. I am using my Versamark ink, and I end up inking this up twice because I'm using a piece of... Uh, Tim Holtz white watercolor cardstock and you know it's got a lot of texture to it and then I'm gonna put some pure platinum liquid platinum embossing powder from Ranger on there and we're just gonna heat that up so I've been doing crafting for God for almost for as long as I've been alive ever since I was young enough or old enough to pick up a crayon I learned things from my mom, I learned things from my grandmother, crocheting, making blankets, all types of things. It wasn't until three year, almost three years ago that I started making tags. And what had gotten me into paper crafting in general was Tim Holtz. And the very first thing I had ever seen of his was the distress inks, the regular ones, and a lot of his multimedia stuff. So I was hooked on making tags for about two months. And my mother gave me a gift card for Joanne Fabrics and I went and I bought his alcohol inks. So that's how I actually began with paper crafting and it was only three years ago. So every time I start a flower or a set of flowers on this card I list the colors up at the top which you probably saw no fancy water coloring here I am using a water brush but it's empty I have more control over it that way and I'm just squirting water onto my ink so back to my story I slowly decided around November you know what I think I'm gonna try to make myself some Christmas cards I think I happened to see one of Tim Holtz's creativation videos or something like that where there was Christmas stamps in it one second guys no she never answered honey we'll ask her for tomorrow okay she wants her cousin to sleep over the other redhead but she didn't answer the phone today so that was when I made my very first cards they were Christmas cards and then I got into looking at stamp sets at the store, at the craft store. Then I discovered, hey, you can get stamps online. And the very first place I ever shopped was Simon Says Stamp. So that's just a story for you. This was on this was the first red rubber stamp I ever got, and it was in the very first kit that I ever bought. So now we're moving into the Aquatini and the Mardi Gras flowers. I had fun painting this and honestly guys I am very very proud of the way it turned out I don't know if I put the picture at the beginning of the video but I think for this video I purposely did not put the picture up there because I wanted to surprise you guys with how it looks at the end and usually the when I do a video I have the picture up at the beginning and at the end but I wanted it to be a surprise so I guess we'll see how it turns out I am before, right before I go on vacation, I skipped both kits. Uh, you guys actually won't see this until I'm already on vacation. I'm doing a whole bunch of videos ahead of time to make sure I have enough for when I leave while I'm gone and at least one for when I come back so I don't have to rush into it. Anyway, I plan on buying the last of the Catherine Pooler inks that I do not have. I need 19 more and I plan on doing it in one big order from Ellen Hudson before I leave and before my coupon runs out. So I should have the entire collection to use and show you when I come back from vacation because honestly I don't think it's going to come before I leave. But we'll see. So moving on. I still don't know what order you guys are going to see these videos in. Uh, this is my third one that I've edited 
but it's only the second one that I've done the voiceover on. And I'm putting them all up on YouTube ahead of time, doing the description, doing all of it. But I'm going to keep them set to private until the day I want to publish them. That way you guys don't miss out because I noticed when I went to North Carolina for On The Make, I brought a video with me to edit, but I was so busy I never put it up. And I don't want that to happen again. I want you guys to have stuff to watch. Especially since some of you will have kids back in school. My kids don't start until the week we're gone. They're going to miss three days of school, but tough. I'm going to call the school, make sure they know that they're going to be gone for that first week. It's not like they're missing anything. And they'll start the following week. It was the only week that we could go on vacation. So, All right, so now I'm doing all the little leftover dots with party dress. And I tried to spread out the colors. I wanted it, I wanted it to be colorful, but I did not want it to look like a rainbow if that makes any sense. So I, I really am happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks really pretty. I did play with the idea of coloring in the background wherever there was white, but that kind of, number one, defeated the purpose of using the stark white Tim Holtz cardstock because so far as I can tell, Everything I've bought so far doesn't hold a candle to the whiteness of that cardstock. I hate paying the price when I can get it cheaper, you know, more card watercolor paper for cheaper, but it really is the only white watercolor cardstock I've found. And we're going to put this right on a white base. Yes, people, I did not use fog. It is a white card base. And I'm pretty sure I told you guys I switched from using my Nina 110 pound to using the Park Lane cardstock from Joanne Fabrics and that's 110 pounds as well and that's what I use for my card bases now. I use, I reserve my Nina 110 for coloring because I'm a heavy alcohol marker user and apparently I lay a lot of ink down when I'm coloring and shading. So this die because came from an MFT set and it's like a word sentiment set and it came with the word because that you can stamp out, you can cut it out, or you can just cut it out without stamping it out, which is what I did. And I used shiny poster board for that because I wanted it to shine and I didn't want to emboss it. And then I glued together two more pieces of cardstock and layered that up so it popped off of the panel. And I know you can't see it very well, and I do show it to you on the camera, but I do like the way it looks. I like the effect it gives, and you can see it better in person than you can on the camera. And then I think I don't show it, but I tried stamping the inside sentiment on the inside, duh. And <laughs> it came out crooked and blurry. So I had to cut a panel down of Nina 60 pound. That's what I use for the insides of my cards. And I re-stamped it. But not only did I re-stamp it, I cut it in half. I did some stamp surgery, which I think I do show you. Because it really was just too long for the inside of the card. With it being a vertical card. I liked it better stacked one on top of the other. And you can always layer them back together if you want to use it as one line again. I hesitated the very first time that I performed stamp surgery, I don't hesitate anymore. It's really easy. Excuse me, got thirsty there. So there I am showing you that I have to cover it up and here I am getting the same sentiment back out and there's my surgery. Don't worry guys, I sanitize my hands first. Ha ha. So I think after I put that together. I played with putting sequins on and decided it looked good just as it was. And that's really it for this card. I don't know how close to the end we are because my uh, phone and program are playing games with me again. I don't know what's up with this lately. Uh, I think it's the uh, connection I use to connect my microphone because you have to ch plug in the charger at the same time. And I think that's causing the program to freeze up so I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to look into a new microphone for this. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the card. I hope you're enjoying what's left of your summer. And we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Give my mommy a big thumbs up.